Ready to host your first webinar? I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it for free using Facebook. Welcome back to Marketing Tools and Tech. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can host a webinar absolutely free using Facebook Live. I'm gonna show you three things. Number one, how to set up Open Broadcaster System, which is a free software. I'm gonna show you how to schedule your webinar inside of Facebook and then get that link so that you can invite people to come into the webinar. So let's get started. All right, the first thing that you're going to need is OBS, which is what you see here on my screen. You're also going to need your Facebook page, which I've also pulled up, and then you'll need your slides, which I have on another tab. So I'm going to set up the actual live stream first. On Facebook, all you have to do is go to your Facebook page and click live. It's going to automatically access your camera, but this is not the one that you want. If you want to show your slides and yourself, you're going to click connect. This will also allow you to schedule it. You'll copy this stream key at the bottom and you'll come back to open broadcaster and you'll click settings, then stream, choose your service as Facebook live and then paste in the stream key there. All right, once you do that, you are all set and ready to broadcast, but we've got to do a few things first. We want to go ahead and name the title of our live stream. So I might say something like live stream. Usually what I put in the description box are um, any links that I want to include, or I'll just put the content and edit the link later. Then we're going to click schedule. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically pull your header image. So you can always change that image, choose your start time. And in this case, it has to be at least, um, I believe 10 minutes before your start time. So I'm just going to set this up to 5 PM and then I'm going to, let's see what it looks like if I choose a custom image. Okay, perfect. So it does allow you to choose a fully customized image and then you can drag it and reposition it if you want. So I'm going to click schedule on that. And this is where you get the link so that you can share it out to your audience. Once you schedule it, you should automatically get a notification down here at the bottom. But if you don't, all you have to do is click on your scheduled live streams. And it should be down here saying, I plan to go live. Okay. So what we'll do is we will right click and either copy link address, or you can open it in a new tab. So I'm just going to go ahead and do both. I just right clicked it. And so this is our permanent link for when someone wants to come and watch the live stream, they're going to click that link. So what I usually do is, I'll save that link. So let me just go ahead and leave that uh, pasted in there. I'm just going to save that link inside of there. Okay. Now, before I get started with doing my uh, presentation, I want to make sure that I've got my open broadcaster settings. So I want to pull my slides. And the way that I've done that is I just added a scene here by hitting the plus button and then I created a scene called Google Chrome. Uh, I might also create a scene called slides. Okay. A scene is, it's like a folder and then inside of that folder, you're going to pull different sources. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new one just so you can see exactly how I build it. So this scene does not have anything in it. It's, it's completely black. I want to add my webcam because let's say I want to have myself in the bottom corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use video capture device, create new, and then I'm just going to find my webcam there. There we go. So now I'm here. If I want to put myself in the corner, maybe I'll just make it smaller, drop myself in the corner right there. Now let's say I want to add my slides. I'm going to use a window capture and 
What I like to do is I like to use Google Slides. So I'm going to create a new window capture and I'm gonna slide this over so you can see that I do have the slides up on Google Slides. It was on my second monitor, but I, I do have the slides up. So that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna just use this drop down until I find the name of the Google Slides there. And what I personally like to do is I like to leave the window up just like this so that while I am presenting, I can see which slide is coming next and which slide I'm on. Then in order to make sure that the people who are watching only see the slides I want them to see, well, all I have to do is zoom in like that. So now all they're seeing is this zoomed in section right here. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger, just like that. Now, at this point, you might be saying, well, where did you go? Your webcam is not there anymore. The order that the items are in right here in the source section is going to be the same order that they're on. So just imagine that whatever's at the top is on top. So if I want the webcam to come back on top, I just drag it and drop it back there again. If I'm presenting and I want to make myself disappear, I just click the eyeball next to it and then I'll disappear. So that's exactly how you host a webinar on Facebook Live. You simply use Open Broadcaster to change your settings, schedule in the stream, grab that link, and now that you have this link, you can invite people using this link. I hope this was helpful. All right, thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Marketing Tools and Tech. If you have more questions, just leave them in the comments below and let's get the conversation started. And if you need more help on creating a webinar, especially one that helps you to book coaching clients for your one-on-one -on -one or group coaching programs, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out my next training. I'm hosting a training showing you my exact process of how I quickly write a persuasive webinar, how I get webinar registrations for cheap so that my ROI is that much higher, and how I book coaching clients using that very same webinar. You can just click the link in the description box in order to join us or visit you'vegotclients.com slash dash webinar in order to get started. In the meantime, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.